Hey everyone, it's Dawn here, and today I want to take a look at these two Pidzu um, horns, finger controlled horns. All right, let's see if I can get my camera back into position. Um, <clears throat> Pidzu was nice enough to send me these for a review, and I will tell you now that I am going to be basing my thoughts and everything um, up against my current system, which is this one. Now, I mounted this one. This is the one that um, Night Riders all use here in California. And um, I. this is my first recommendation. It's a bike light and horn. Uh, let's turn this off so you can see um, it does have a light. I'll go through all the different options. We have all the different strobes. And then we have blue light. We have red light, uh, flashings, um, all different all different kinds so and then you hold the button down so the button is here i get the light back on i make a little elastic band that slips then uh, i just sew elastic band then it slips over my finger so that um, when i have my glove on my thumb is just very easy to push either focus 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 camera sucks to um push either the horn button or the light button so <clears throat> let's see this is how loud it is it's 120 decibels very loud and you have all the different types i'm gonna i'm gonna try to hold this uh, silent so this is what you want to do if you want to change the sound setting you're going to keep holding down the horn button and it's going to cycle through all the different horns and once you hit the horn that you like then you release it so hold down the horn button that's the one i like like you're backing up that's a trill uh, that's so annoying and then that's that's the one i like and that's the one that i i use okay so um so it's a it's a light it's a horn um charges by um usb c which i have charging right now i mounted onto this other elastic strap that i sewed up and then i just glued on with um with uh glue gun that is <clears throat> my first choice it's quick easy simple and it's about 20 bucks so for your pit zoom options pit zoom you can see this is uh well let's go from smallest to largest so this is going to be your largest unit and i slide this over here so the smallest unit was this this is plastic but um it it, it really holds up well i've had to replace it twice now both times because of crashes but this is metal pit zoom and this is <clears throat> their fh60 now duff did a um duff did a review on a pit zoom finger horn but it's not it's not either one of these it's something different because his you can apparently change the volume and you can change the sound these ones you cannot um at least i don't see anywhere in the instructions that say that you can you can't change the volume and you can't change the sounds and um i actually followed his instructions which is just hold down the disarm button for four seconds and then cycle through the sounds by pushing the horn button or the arm button you can do the volume and i tried that with this and nothing happened so i i think we have totally different models but this one is the fh60 and so yeah it doesn't seem like you can change i i don't see it in the manual it doesn't seem like you can change the volume or the the uh, tone of it so you only have one single sound let's see what features we have why why you no know focus are you kidding me right now hold on let me see what's going on here <clears throat> focus focus god maybe maybe my phone is like farsighted like i am now all right so you have a powerful horn motion alarm type c or USB C um charging cable high capacity battery long lasting materials water resistance um to p ipx5 and here are the different uh things that you get with it 
the main unit, the a button cell battery, um, bike mount kit, uh, user UC mount kit, and user manual, and you get this button battery here for so your cable. They give you this <clears throat> for mounting your button battery for your finger remote. Um, this thing will go inside of here to make it smaller and to hang on to it better, I guess. Um, a little piece of a piece of rubbery thingy. Usually this uh, takes up space. And mine had this, and this thing confuses me because I don't know what it's for and it doesn't do anything when I push the button. And I thought maybe it was supposed to work for this. So then I tried to um, sync them and it didn't work. And mine also came with this tool and I don't know what that tool is for either. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There's a lot of questions here that is not answered uh, by this. We have our specs here is 120 decibels. Um, and You have the dimensions, uh, 250 grams. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, button cell battery, uh, 70 by 53 millimeters. Remote control and general operation. Your top button is disarm. And it shows it on here too. Disarm and arm at the bottom. So, Let's see oh pairing so i guess i can show you that because this is good to know so for mounting um oops i put this in the wrong place you have this for mounting but i don't quite understand where this is supposed to go and how this is supposed to go in here um so i have to figure that because this has two holes over here and there's four holes over here and i am confused Ooh. Anyways, um, to open this up, <clears throat> you turn this outer collar, and it's important to note that the outer collar is separate from the bell itself on the center. So you might want to hold on to the bell and not twist the bell because you don't want to turn the bell, and you only want to turn this collar. And it's a little bit hard to turn because of this seal. So really nice metal and all that good stuff. Um, then you have this seal and that is a really nice seal so that um, it is water resistant. And this is why you don't want to be twisting the bell because it is attached down here and you don't want to be damaging that when you attach it. Then out of all of these little thingies in here, uh, you want to look for the button. <laughs> And there is a button right there. Where do I have a thingy to point with? Oh my gosh. All right. This white thingy. I don't know why my camera doesn't want... Oh, look at that. There we go. So where's my thingy? Right there. That is a button. And when you press it, it'll beep three times because it is in that pairing mode for three seconds and um <clears throat> and in that three second time you push the you push the center button for your remote and then it should pair and it should make another sound um confirming that it has paired and then you're good to go so to put this back on you're going to press the seal on and you're going to hold on to it and make sure it doesn't move because you don't want to be twisting that wire inside because it'll disconnect it. And then you want to push the collar down as hard as you can. And then be aware of your center bell that that isn't moving. So I'm holding it with this my right thumb. And then I'm just turning it and turn it all the way tight so you've got that water resistance thing going on again. So for mounting, I think the, you know, I mean, we're, we're all pretty good at 
figuring out how to mount stuff right but i think um they're basically expecting you to use this slide in in there mount it up and you're good to go so here is your usb c type c port thingy and the cable that they give you is actually really nice i don't know i have a thing about nice cables nice and long okay so charge it up your finger remote oh god i got the two finger remotes mixed up um <laughs> the, the two finger remotes look exactly the same and i've been trying to keep them separate but i just got them mixed up i think it's this one i'm hoping it's this one all right so how loud is it i'm gonna press the button oh god it was the wrong one did you see that one move okay so that that's the other one it doesn't actually sound that bad i figured out you do have to mount it this one has to be mounted so once it's mounted so like this then that's 129 decibels this one's 120 decibels so this one and this one there it is so it's steady so here's the um fh60 Here's the FH90. This actually makes me jump. <laughs> this one is very loud. <coughs> and then <clears throat> this one sounds like this. And it flashes when it goes as well. This is 120 decibels. Um, but the tone is very different. So, so I do want to take a moment and talk about tone. Okay, These sounds are very... Ba, 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 you know, I was like, oh, he runs away. It's very jarring. It makes you jump. And um, in my experience, as we're coming up behind pedestrians and stuff like that, we don't want to sound like this. It's, it, it sounds very jarring and it sounds very angry and it sounds rude. That's the word I'm looking for. It sounds rude up to coming up to pedestrians and blasting it at them. You know, I even don't like using this one coming up against pedestrians. That's why I have my little bell, my little bike bell that sounds like ding, ding, ding. You know, and it sounds m much more pleasant, um, much less aggressive at at pedestrians because we want to like, you know, let them know that we're there, but we don't want to like piss them off and we don't want to scare them and stuff like that. So I have I have my two different options. I have my little bell that goes ding, 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 and it's literally the bike bell, right? And then I have this one, but this one I use mostly for cars. This one is very loud. It's uh, kind of blaring. It's kind of now nice. Um, I use it for cars, and I also use it when I pass people on UCs and stuff or bicyclists and stuff um, if they don't hear me. But this is more like a warning, like, hey, um, I'm going high speed. I'm passing you. You know, make sure you don't move. Hold your line, you know, sort of thing. These... Well, you you listen to it and tell me how how this makes you feel. Oh God, I couldn't hold on to it. Another thing to note: do not hold on to this sharp edge as you as you push the button because it actually um, the vibration is so strong and everything. It actually felt like it cut my hand. Um, it's, this is very strong and when you hold it down it doesn't do a continuous it does the boop 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 like that that's when i'm holding down the button this one does give you a continuous beep and i cannot like literally when i stopped at just now it's because i literally couldn't take it anymore and then this um does give you a continuous uh, depending on you know and, and it has different sounds as well so uh, both of these do not have different sounds uh, these can pair up to I think I can pair up to three different remotes um, where is it in here I don't remember and if if you pair if you try to pair it with a third one or something like that it'll just forget the first one um, the arming and disarming, I, when I kind of show you one, it kind of, you know, applies to the other one as well. But, uh, the arming and disarming is kind of cool because there have been times that I've had to leave my EUC outside or, um, the, where it's charging is separate from where I need to sit and eat. And so it in those cases, I think it would be nice to have a motion 
an alarm that will you know be loud and annoying and let me know if someone's messing with all of my stuff because usually I have my wheel and all of my gear together over there. So you just push the arm button, arm button. Oh God, I'm doing the wrong one again. Okay, let's disarm you. Okay, so that one's disarmed. <laughs> I wanna do this one. Okay, we're gonna arm you. So it does a loud beep and then it does a quiet beep like that. And there's a little light indicator, indicator light <laughs> over here in the center. Um, so now it's armed. So now. Um, you got to kind of push right there in the center of it to get the button to activate right in the center. So the corners kind of actually um, uh, interfere with that a little bit. But um, so th then it's disarmed. So you see that kind of would freak people out if this started going off when, when the wheel fell over or someone's trying to take it. Um, and then this one. Okay, so this one over here, you have the extra this and then you have this much cable and is there any reason to show you this i have no idea but it has this connector where does it go okay so it has this that you would need to mount and this that you would need to mount um and it is a little bit louder um and it certainly sounds a lot louder and let's oh god i keep mi mixing up these remotes okay I want to see if this this one. I want to arm and disarm it. Gotta hold it. Okay, do the other way. All right, arm is on the bottom. God, that scares me. It is now armed. Now for this one, I don't think the yeah the motion isn't on here. The motion detector. Here's the motion detector. Why did you stop? It has a time limit. Ow, that hurt. God, you know what happened? I when I was grabbing at it, I went and I um and I touched that. Oops. And this thing is uh is a piece of the um the tie, zip tie. You know how zip ties get real sharp when you cut it? And I touched that as it was buzzing. And I'm telling you, high vibration and sharp things together really hurts. Um, but I was trying to hold it still. All right. So wait. So all you, ha all you have to do is wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. All you have to do is wait a little bit and then it'll stop, which... That's not so good, is it? Well, I guess, oh God, I don't know. Okay, you guys will have to decide if that's good or not. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down so you can actually hear the sound. Um, I'll just move this. Okay, that's how long it goes and then it stops on its own. Um, let's turn this one off. Do, 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 disarm, disarm. Okay, two beeps. Oh God, this thing scared me. Okay, now remote over here. This one. I want to see if this one has has a has a time limit um, as well. Arm it, and then move it. So it'll only sound, but it's, it seemed like this one lasted longer than this one. Um, all right, I just dis, disarmed it. All right, so there you go. Those are all the features. You got metal, you got water resistance. Um, this is the backing, so you can figure out how to mount things to it. Uh, the mounts that they give you for this one is this. Um, once again, I don't know why they gave me this. It doesn't seem to work. You got this thingy. Mostly it's this thingy that they give you, which is a super duper zip tie, uh, reusable. It is hefty. It is definitely hefty, um, compared to this. 
but uh, and these are both rated at 120 decibels. This one, I feel like this one is louder, but I don't think that it's necessarily the volume that's louder. I think this one jars me. Like, like, oh God, every time the sound is going off, it's like, ah, it's like, ugh. well, even this one is super loud, but it's, it's, and it's, and it's jarring as well. I don't want to hear it, you know, um, but it's, I don't know, this, this one makes me anxious. <laughs> um, and then this, you've got this to work with for mounting. You've got this whole thing going on which is interesting. And then you got to figure out this thing for mounting. So you got all of this and this short bit of cable and compared to this once again. And then let's see, let's talk more about this one. This one is louder at 129 decibels and you can hear the difference. Um, let's see. This one, the main unit size is three by two, two point four by two inches, and the net weight is fifteen ounces or four hundred and thirty grams. Um, let's see. The horn size is three inches or seventy seven millimeters. Three inches for the horn size. What are they talking about? Just the diameter. Yeah, so they're talking about the diameter, three inches for the horn size. What's this one? Oh, this one is two and five eighths of an inch diameter. Let's see the size difference. F60, oh, FH60, FH90. I'll leave this here. Um, let's see, this is three inches by one a uh, little over a little over one and five eighths of an inch um <clears throat> let's see did we do this way two and three let's see what was that two and three eighths of an inch um one and three quarters of, well no we gotta include this on the back so two and one eighths of an inch if we measure from here to here hmm. this mounting is just um kind of interesting figure out how to mount this because if you just put a zip tie around here because this bumps out it seems like it would kind of wiggle around um you know against if you mount it up against a flat surface, it'll kind of wobble a little bit over here. And then this one, you definitely want it to be uh, mounted as tight as possible, but there's a the mounting of it. And um, I mean, it is kind of hefty and the vibrations of it, uh, will the, the, sound will, the sound it makes will change depending on how it's mounted and and what it's what it's touching because obviously like if i just leave it like this oh god god i have the wrong remote again okay this one see so if you have it mounted kind of iffy it can sound like that oh I, i'm okay i'm gonna hold it down and and change the way I don't want to get hurt. Oh, God. You see how strong this? It actually literally jumped out of my hand. Okay. So if you mount it really well, then that is the loudest sound that it'll make. And then the sound, it sounds, it sounds correct. But, and then if you don't hold it very well, see, it can sound real funky. So mounting is going to be um, very important uh, for, for these things. Anyways, um, there you go. All the information I can think to give you, good and bad, about these guys and um, in comparison. So you have many different options. The quality is really nice. I mean, quality is very nice. It's very impressive looking thing. Um, 
this one, I mean, how easy it is, is it going to be to move from wheel to wheel? What wheel do you have to have it on and stuff like that? One of the joys uh, or one of the pros for this is that joys. Oh my gosh, what are the joys? But one of the pros for this is that, you know, because I have it on my glove and I can take this off very easily and switch to another glove and all that. So this is very portable and I don't have to worry about um, mounting it on which wheel and oh my gosh, I can't talk and do things at the same time. But anyway, so this one is, um, is has a lot of options and um, it's very lightweight. It's uh, the battery lasts forever on it. We rarely have to charge them up. Um, just like once every few months, you know, stick it on the charger overnight and then you're good to go for a long, maybe not even a few months, maybe a year. Well, it depends on use, of course, but, um, just like everything is great about this. This is all great and it has sound, but you don't have, you know, all the different options for sounds and the different volumes and, um, and you're just going to have to put a little bit more thought into mounting it. I think, I think, uh, mounting it is one of the bigger things otherwise it comes ready to go it's easy to charge um it's water resistant which is nice um yeah it's great quality so there you go if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below i will be mounting this onto my wheel and then um doing real world tests out in the open with this and seeing how many people i can scare no i'm just kidding but um i'll be doing real world tests next uh, I don't want, I wanted to do this one just for the close-ups and opening it up and all that, but real world tests will be coming up and then we'll know a little bit more. There you go. Thanks for joining me. Hope that helps and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.